Hello everybody and welcome back to Who Another Paw Patrol Fan 95 Presentation. So today I'll be unboxing this Chase and Humdinger gift pack, which also comes with Cat Chase. So without further ado, let's get started. Roll the intro! <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Just had to cut them free from their string prisons. Their cat chases free. Oh, wait, there. Humding is free from his string prison. Well, you know, packaging prison, I should probably say. And Chase, who's... There we go. Maybe it's not string. Well, regardless as to what it is, they're free from their packaging prison. Off with that. Whoa, poor man Humdinger. Chase and Cat Chase, they all fell over. Oh well. <laughs> okay, who should we start with? Let's start with Cat Chase. A very nice figurine, who was also made as a plushie. We have the Kitten Catastrophe Crew logo on the front. The German Shepherd Dog design printed onto the cat. A floof on the top of the head. Cat ears, pup pack, no chevron on the outfit, and the cat tail. So, lacking in detail a little bit, let me get the plushie, hang on. Should be around here somewhere. Hang on. Here it is. Oh, there's no chevron on the plushie either. There's a bit more detail. Here's the plushie, has the Kitten Catastrophe logo, has a yellow line across the front and along its belly, probably the zipper. Yellow cuffs along the end of the uniform. Also yellow lines along the back, probably where the pup pack would go. And a significantly shorter tail. Ah, oh, well. Still pretty cool regardless. Also, the floof is there as well. Yeah. Also, this one has whisker printing. Whiskers printing on the... Yeah, this one doesn't have whiskers. Didn't even print any. Huh. Still a very cool figurine, though. Alright, we've had a look at you. Does your head turn? Wah! Does your head turn? No, it is stationary. Still a pretty cool figurine. Let's move on to Humdinger. I actually made a Lego figurine of Humdinger, actually. Let me bring him out. I've showcased him before on the channel before. But it's an excuse to show him off again. Here he is. Actually, I haven't shown him off with the eye update I did. The original green stud eye version I did is still on YouTube. But this is his eye variation upgrade. This is the first time I'm showing his eye upgrade. Rather cool. He's missing that black, um, area around the hat on the official figurine. Kind of sad, but nonetheless, it still looks pretty cool. He has the coattails on the back. And he has that signature mustache and the white coat underneath his purple outfit. And... Something really cool. Can you turn his head? You can turn his head! Yo, posability. That's cool. And you can have him sit down. Nice. Overall, a really nice figurine. I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. Actually, you know, 8.5 is kind of rough. Okay, fine, I'll give it like a 9. Maybe number rating shouldn't be included. I just wish that the black outline around the top of the top hat... Not the top, around the, the base of the top hat was included. Other than that, it's pretty cool. And now on to Chase, who is really nice. This might be one of the nicest Chase figurines I've actually ever seen. One of the most detailed, that? Maybe. 
Well, maybe excluding the earlier versions of the pups that were released in 2013 or 14, when they actually had the opening pup packs. But those cost a lot more money. Yeah, because, you know, working pup pack feature, when you push the pup tag, I think a gadget popped out. These ones don't have that, but the paint detail is really nice. Let me pull out, um, the 10th anniversary chase from the 10th anniversary Paw Patrol pack. Definitely more detail on the pack with Humdinger. Okay, put you off to the side. We're going to look at the details of this chase figurine. We have an unprinted um, police badge logo, like Chase's pup tag insignia on the back, on the back of the pup pack. We have his chevron printed. Really nice. We have a pocket. Um, kind of hard to see on camera. Let me bring it a bit closer. Yeah, there's a pocket right there on his outfit. It should be on the other side. Yeah, it is. It's on the other side. We have a pocket on each side of his pup pack. And a blue light on this side and a red light. Well, they're not actually lights. They're painted. But actually, are there even lights in the show? Huh. I'll have to take note of that next time I watch the show. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But regardless as to whether they are or aren't, still nice that they actually included that. And also... The yellow trim along his hat. I don't know whether any other toy of this scale has done that. I might be wrong, but it's really nice that they included that. Along with the silver pup tag, not pup tag, um, silver paw badge. Is that on the 10th anniversary one? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. And his pup tag is painted. This chase is certainly like a 9 out of 10, if I was to give it a number rating. Very nice. The only thing stopping it from like getting a 10 out of 10 if I was doing a number rating would be if it actually had functioning, like a functioning pop-out gadget, like the earlier versions of the pups did. That would be like, mwah, chef's kiss. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye now!